Good morning, friends. Study travel, dine with Pran the sailor is going to take you today to Mount Sukuba, also known as Sukuba San. It's in Ibarafiki Prefecture and about 50 kilometers from Tokyo. It's connected well with Tokyo by train, the Sukuba line. From old times, it has been said Mount Sukuba in the east and Mount Fuji in the west. Also because the color of the mountain suffers changes to purple when basking in the morning and evening sunshine. It's said that Mount Sukuba is a rio, a sacred peak of the Kanto region. And it's called Shio, which means purple peak. As you get down from the bus, there's an information center. You can get the information about the climb from this information center and a red tori, the temple gate welcomes you with all its glory. It's a very tall red tori. Tori is the temple gate. As you walk about, this is just at the bus stop. And as you walk from the tori, you can start getting a nice view of the Kanto region far away. And uh, you walk for about five minutes and then you reach to another tori, which is gray in color walk straight and you will be entering into the 3000 year old history the sukuba jinja shrine or the sukuba san shrine celebrated as a spiritual source of fertility with its two peaks designated as male and female Praying at Sukuba San Shrine is believed to bring marital harmony or if you are not quite there yet, matchmaking bliss. It will help you to find a good partner if you pray at Sukuba San Jinja Shrine. Legend says thousands and thousands of years ago, a deity descended from the heavens and asked two mountains for a place to spend the night. With its great summit and almost perfect cone, Mount Fuji refused, believing with pride and arrogance that it does not need the deity's blessing. Mount Sukuba, on the other hand, humbly welcomed the honored guests, even offering food and water. Today, Mount Fuji is a cold, lonely and barren mountain, while Mount Sukuba bursts with vegetation and is filled with colors as the season changes. As you Climb the stairs and reach the footsteps of the Jinja Shrine. You can view many Shinto style architecture around you, which is really a marvel to see. And please join the long queue of people standing there to pray the Sukuba Jinja San. From the compound of this shrine, the hiking trails to the mountains begin. We can choose to go straight up to the mountain via the Mukigahara course or we can follow the Shirakumobashi course where it joins the Otasushi course and then continues on top to Mount Nyota. If you are not a hiking freak, you can also choose the cable car or the ropeway. The cable car is uh, built in 1925 and the ropeway is built in 1965. It covers about 1,600 meters. The cable car take about eight minutes and the ropeway take about six minutes to reach to the top. Since we have uh, decided to enjoy the Sukuba climb to the fullest, we decided to go on a hiking trail, the toughest one, which will take you to the notch between the two peaks. From there, you can climb both Nantai and Nyotai peak. So we started our climb. It was tough guys. It was really tough. <laughs> this is the cable car station. This is Mount Nantai. And Mount 
After taking a few minutes of rest and uh, some refreshments, we decided to start climbing to the peak Nyotai from here, 877 meter top peak. It's the female mountain of the two uh, peaks. And there are a lot of uh, interesting features all along the road. It was slippery as it was raining the day before. Todd Rock looks like a frog. One of the attraction here. People throw small coins and small uh, stones into the mouth of the frog, and if it remains there, it believes that it brings you good luck. Gamma Ishi, frog shaped rock. on top of Mount Nyotai, 877 meters high this mountain and this is the Kanto plain what you can see vast area and this is the shrine on top of Mount Nyotai lot of people going up to pray The shrine on top of Nyotai Hill. This is a lady mountain. Heavenly Bridge. on the top of Mount Nyotai, the Kanto Plain. There's a lake. On a clear day, you can see the lake Kasumi Gaura on its all glory. And uh, this is the Nantai Peak, which you can see from the Nyotai. Next, we are going to climb on top of that. And this is the great Kanto region. On a clear day, you can see the Tokyo sky tree and sometimes even Mount Fuji can be seen from this peak. As uh, better to take a uh, few minutes rush on top of Nyotai Peak. Uh, there is some small stones where you can sit and before uh, you coming down to the notch between the two peak and then you can start climbing the male mountain the Nantai this is to the male mountain this is a little bit hard to climb steep yeah but they have step Sort, sort of wooden supports given randomly so that you won't slip. We are almost reaching to the top now. The steepest part which I managed to climb. We are on top of the other mountain, the male mountain. There's a shine here too. Really nice. Pray here and everything will be fulfilled.
Nantai San Peak. We are at the Nantai San Peak. There is an Nantai San Shrine here. Few photographic moments later, start climbing down the Nantai San Peak. There is a meteorological observatory here, which is more than 100 years old. It has been giving meteorological observation of the Kanto region. Catch each glimpse of the magnificent Kanto region as you climb down. So while uh, for going down, we can have the option of uh, going down by walk through the same trail, but uh, we decided to enjoy the cable car also. So after walking down from the Nantai mountain, we reached to the cable car station and purchase our tickets. Hmm. When you get down from the cable car, please remember to take a few shots for memory sake and visiting Sukuba San and climbing both the peak will bring you health, wealth, happiness and peace on earth. Don't forget to visit the Jinja Shrine once again on your way down and steady travel dine with Pran the sailor saying bye bye to Sukuba San. See you again with more videos from Tokyo. Thank <laughs> you.